uh, shingles here are overhanging the uh, eaves trough by about two inches. Um, that's about probably the proper length. If since there's no uh, drip edge in there, um, you know these ones uh, will eventually curl down. So they stay out flat like this for a while. Then after a couple of years, they'll fold right down, all the way down till they reach the, the eaves trough. Now that's not exactly ideal and the drip edge, if there was a metal support in there, would hold these shingles out in that position there forever until the shingles need to be replaced. That way the water can drip off the edge properly onto the eaves trough. But over time, when these fold down, if the eaves trough is sloped uh, a little bit low, so a little bit lower than they are here, there's the chance the shingles can curl right over the top of the eaves trough and that allows water to run behind the back, between the eaves trough and the aluminum fascia that's back there. So then underneath, you'd see water dripping out all along there between the uh, bottom of the eaves trough and the fascia, which is right here. So it all drip out because the water's not going into the eaves trough properly. So what we'll do is grab the uh, hose. Okay, we're gonna wet the roof. Wet it up here real good. and uh, just observe how the water runs off the roof. You pretty much can tell just by looking at these shingles that there's not going to be any uh, problem here. Now we can replicate a pretty heavy rain, probably even heavier than what it uh, would normally rain in one area. The leaf guard's taking uh, water, no problem. And um, everything looks good. You'll notice the water, when it does rain, it falls straight off the shingles. I'm blasting a heavy, uh, heavy water there, and the water runs off the shingle and falls straight down. It doesn't shoot out or travel as further or anything like that. 